So in this course, I wanted to share some cocktails that you can make easily at home with no hassle with four ingredients or less. Particularly, I wanted to share two that are made with champagne or a traditional method sparkling wine. So something that's got that slightly more complex yeasty character. First up, we're gonna do the French 75. Now, this is a cocktail that has a really varied history. And when you start diving deep into cocktails, you'll see that there are many, many different recipes. Uh, so many that you could choose from. It's said that the original was developed in around 1922. We have a recipe from Harry's cocktail book, but then there are some very variations coming later made with calvados, with absinthe, with all sorts of different things. Now today I want to share a variation that's much simpler to make at home. It's much more modern, developed in the 90s, but the thing that's so great about it for me is that you still maintain the soul of the cocktail but without all that difficult ingredients because you don't want to buy absinthe for one cocktail and just have it sitting in your shelf. So I've pared this down to make it super easy for you. So what you're going to need, obviously, is a champagne method, traditional method sparkling wine. I've chosen Francia Corta because it happens to be my favorite. Always drink what you like. Then we're gonna use gin, simple syrup. Now simple syrup, please don't buy it. It's so expensive when someone else makes it for you. You don't need to do that. It's just one part white sugar, one part water, and you're done. Okay, we're also going to use lemon juice. Okay, and I like to squeeze my own lemons because I think it gives you a little bit more freshness. And this cocktail gets really exciting because you finally get to shake something. So let's prepare our shaker with some ice. You want it about three quarters full of ice so you can begin to see that it's fogging up your shaker. Now, you should always build your cocktails using the cheapest ingredients first so that if you make a mistake and you have to throw it away or start again, you're not losing money. So we're gonna start with our lemon juice. And the trick I like to use is to roll the lemon across the bar top just to see if you can warm it up and get a little bit more juice out of it more easily. Okay. If you have a lot of pips in your lemon, even if you're shaking, just try and get a couple of them out. It's just gonna make it a little bit more easy for you. Okay. So you want three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Let's give this a go. With a large lemon like this, you don't actually need to use all the lemon, so you might wanna make a second cocktail. In we go. Okay, and then we're gonna add the gin. and the simple syrup. So, simple syrup first, remember build from the ground up. There we go. Okay, so it's half an ounce of simple syrup. Next, we're gonna go with our gin. Okay. So here we have one and a half ounces of gin. Okay, once you've got that in there, just check your ice level. And for me, there's not quite enough ice in here. So I'm just gonna try, get a little bit more ice in my shaker. Much better. Make sure you've got a tight grip on the top of your shaker. Don't need to do any tricks here. The idea is just to get it as cold as possible, as quickly as possible. As you can see, we're fogging up the outside. You want a complete fog on your shaker, and that's what tells you that you're getting it really cold. There we go. You need about 20 to 30 seconds. Now you could use a fancy strainer to strain this cocktail, but I'm gonna serve it in a flute. So actually using the built-in strainer in the cocktail jug and the shaker is absolutely fine. And then you're gonna to top the cocktail up with some sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. 
If you like, you can serve it with a twist of lemon, but actually I just like it clean and clear and on its own. The French 75. So now I've shown it to you, I get to have a taste. Lovely, well-balanced cocktail. You have the complexity of the sparkling wine, that little extra pop from the gin, and then a residual sweetness from the simple syrup cut through by the lemon. Beautifully balanced, perfect little aperitivo for you. So now we're gonna make what is perhaps one of the most classic cocktails made with wine. It's the champagne cocktail, typically made with champagne. And this is what I call a classic. It was developed in 1862 by Jerry Thomas, the king of cocktails. Uh, he first wrote about it in his Bon Vivant's Companion, and it's basically stayed the same ever since, which is the sign for me of a, a true classic. Also, simple is best. You need very few ingredients. Now, it might seem a little strange when you realize what's in this cocktail, but trust me, it works. So, you're going to need champagne or a traditional method sparkling wine, in this case, Francia Corta, a sugar cube, and Angostura bitters. First up, take your sugar cube, okay? Put it on a safe surface, and you're going to soak it in the Angostura bitters. The trick with this cocktail is to get enough bitters into the sugar cube, but without having the sugar cube completely dissolve. This is why I like a lot of space, so you can really soak it. Let it soak in a little bit. You can see it disappearing into the sugar. And then straight away, pop it into your champagne flute. Then it's simply topping up with champagne or a traditional method sparkling wine. go. So as you can see, as the sparkling wine comes into contact with the sugar cube, it begins to slowly break down, releasing the Angostura bitters into the sparkling wine. Take it slow, top it up to your liking. If you want to, you can add a twist of lemon. And that's the champagne cocktail. So now you've seen it, I get to taste it. Wow. Really complex for such a simple cocktail. I mean, really only three ingredients. There's such a lot of flavor going on in this cocktail because you have all that richness and complexity from the sparkling wine, the delicate bitterness from the Angostura and just a hint of sweetness rounding it off. It's a classic.